What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a video that another YouTuber called The All Gaming Guy has put out and this is showing a reflection in Aiden's glasses and some people believe it to be a cheat menu. So we're going to take a look into that today. If you do enjoy the video guys be sure to hit that thumbs up if you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Right, let's crack on with the video. So this is the moment I really want to focus on from the video that was put out by The Old Game and I, which by the way guys, I will link in the description below. The Old Game and I has gone on from showing that these guys have been asked to download Face It Anti Cheat or Show Task Manager to prove they're legit. Aiden's already spoken at this point about not wanting to use Face It Anti Cheat, saying there's an anti cheat in the game. Why do I need to download this when there's already an anti cheat in the game, right? And then he goes on to show Task Manager, but watch the whole process. We're going to break it down a little bit now to show why it's a little bit weird, a little bit strange that the black box is in his reflection on his glasses. So from this moment, you're going to be able to see the black box in the reflection on his glasses, right? And then he goes through onto his desktop mode. But as soon as he switches over, you can no longer see the black box on his desktop. Whatever he's showing his community, his viewers isn't what you could see in the reflection of his glasses, which is very strange. It's the exact same desktop because you can see the task manager. Just going to go back and pause it slightly there, okay? So in the glasses, what you are actually able to see there is the white box first. That is task manager. And we can tell that when he actually switches to desktop mode. But that black box popping up on top of task manager there, right? That is what people want to know what it is, the black box. Why is that showing up? Now, of course, in the reflection, that's very strange, but even zoomed in, you can't really tell what it is. But watch as he switches over to desktop mode and that black box is no longer there. Okay. So now we can see task manager, which is what we could see in the reflection on his glasses, right? But there's no black box in front of it. Now this is what people are saying. This is what the old game and I are saying. Why was that black box in the reflection, but not showing on his desktop? Is it the same desktop, right? So we'll now take a look at the angle in which he's looking to see whether or not he's checking out a different desktop. Because you've got to remember, streamers do use dual PC setups. So he could be showing us a desktop from a second PC rather than his main one. But he does go through task manager, goes through all the processes. But what you've got to remember as well is the 99.9% .9 of cheats run a kernel level now. So they will not be showing up as a processor on task manager. So even zoomed in, like we mentioned before, you can't really tell what that is. Now you can probably sit there and say, oh, these guys use poor quality cameras for this reason. So you can't see the reflection in the glasses. We've actually seen people mention about blur in the eyes, which is a thing, by the way. This is actually a thing. People do have, like, add-ons for their cameras to blur their eyes. But this here, right here, you can see Aiden's eyes clearly. But what's happening here is the old game and I is trying to zoom in on the glasses to see what the reflection is on the monitor, which is some distance away from him anyway. But still, it is very strange, and I think the only person who has the answer to this is Aiden at this point. You can sit there and say, yes, that's a cheat menu. You can sit there and say, it's probably another program. But what program do you know that you would have running before you show Task Manager, which pops up, but then when you decide to show Task Manager to your viewers, it's not there anymore without it even running on the side. So the only programs he had open when he was showing Task Manager was Task Manager itself so it does look like Battle.net's running. You can see it there. He's got Battle.net running. DS4 Windows. NZXT Cam. So all these things that he's actually got open and running here. Don't show anything that could quite well be a black menu of some sort. So what is it? There's nothing here running on his toolbar. So it is very interesting, guys. And I wanted to shed a little bit of light on this in hopes that we actually get a response from Aiden. The biggest part of this though is after he's shown task manager after we've seen that reflection in his glasses and then he goes into the game bearing in mind the reason they are showing this is because they're going into a tournament so he's going into a tournament and he's had to show task manager these are all the programs he's got open nothing really suspicious but as we've said most cheats run at a kernel level now so there's nothing really to show in task manager we know this now come on 
as as the old game and I said, as I've said many times before, it's 2022. Any cheats to show up in Task Manager don't get used. But one of the biggest things for me is the gameplay that's shown afterwards. This is him going into the game loading up after he's shown Task Manager and stuff. His aim's all over the place. It is literally all over the place. He's complaining about his aim assist not working. He's actually saying the game feels weird, that he's dropping frames. But you can actually see in the top left corner, his FPS stays at around 190 to 200 throughout. But he's claiming he's dropping frames. He's making excuses. Now, these are clips that are in the old Game and Eyes video. So they could quite well be hand-selected. And there could well be other games where he absolutely fried as well. But I want answers from Aiden himself to state what that black menu was that popped up, or black program rather, rather than menu. Was it a cheat menu? What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole situation. Do you believe Aiden has slipped up and showed his reflection of his cheat menu live on stream? Or do you believe that it could quite well be another program and people are just misinterpreting what it was? Well, I want to take you on a trip down memory lane. February 2021, a guy called Richard Schott, who was a Twitch TV streamer, was streaming live Warzone playing Rebirth Island, right? And he was playing using the Astro A40's headset. And everybody knows the Astro A40's headset have some sort of shiny reflective magnetic plates that clip on the side, right? Very shiny. So you can see reflection in them. And we were able to actually see player skeletons in the reflection of his headset. That is exactly how we were able. And when I say we, I mean me and a couple of people from my community were able to catch Richard's shot using wall hacks when he turned his head away from his monitor and you saw the reflection of the player skeletons in his headset. I'm going to run this clip through for you now just so you guys understand that basing something off a reflection isn't always a reach. You will be able to actually see it now when, when we play it through on this video. So you will be able to see the player skeletons. You can already see them there, but it's not very clear. Of course, like we've said with the Aiden situation, even zoomed in, it's not extremely clear. It's harder to distinguish what a black box is compared to player skeletons, but this is in slow motion and zoomed in, and you'll see the player skeleton now. You see it? It is very blatant on this guy, Richard Shot. We were able to zoom in on his webcam and offer reflection, catch him using wall hacks in Call of Duty Warzone. And for those who don't know what player skeleton looks like, it's essentially like a stick man. If you draw a stick man, circle head, line body, line legs, line arms, that's what it looks like, the player skeleton. That's exactly what you can see here on his headset, the body and the arms. And he 100% got caught using wall hacks because of a reflection in his headset. So before anybody sits there and says it's a reach to look at a reflection in Aiden's glasses, I'd like you to remember this moment here with Richard Shot back in February 2021. Well, there we have it, guys. Just that reflection alone, I wouldn't say is deemed suspicious because it could quite be any program opened on his computer. But the overall context of that video is simple. He opens his task manager. You see in the reflection a black box open on top of his task manager. He then switches to desktop mode so his viewers can see his desktop. But that black box is no longer there, only task manager. And the only two programs he appears to have open are Task Manager and Battle.net. So what is that black box? Because it's a completely different shape to the Battle.net window. Then he loads into the game. And then as he goes into the games, he's complained about his aim assist not working. And he's complained about his frames. But we can actually see his FPS is still sitting at around 200, 190 to 200 FPS. But as you've seen, we've actually put a tweet out and hopefully Aiden actually responds. He can either come out and show a video or do it on live stream to prove what that black box was. Right, it's as simple as that if he wants to clear his name, if he wants to prove that that is not a cheat menu. So I am not here saying that that is a cheat menu because there are so many things that actually lead me to believe that it could be something else as well because a cheat menu would pop up whilst you are in game. It could be the cheat loader menu, which you would have to select the cheats on to then load into the game. But once the game's open, your cheat menu pops up. So it could be the loader, but I mean, at the same time, you're just kind of picking and choosing what you think it could be. That could also just be any other program on his computer. 
So the only person who holds the answers to this is Aiden himself. And hopefully we do get a response even on Twitter, on a video or on his live streams. And I'm sure we'll keep you up to date here guys when we do find out more. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Pu -pu -pu Peace!